You guys, I think there's a baby. Annabelle's baby. Are you serious? Yeah. Let's try and get up. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> there we go. Nice one. Can you get up? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Seven hard time. And its back legs able to stand. There you go. So this footage will probably never make it to the light of day, but we're dealing with a uh, bit of a traumatic situation where our foal was born and is exhibiting special needs. We don't know what's the deal, but the vet says to bring it up there, dealing with neurological issues. And we are heading up to Dr. Lee's. All of those babies die at 7, 14 days of age because they get sick because they have no immune system. So they come in with infected joints, pneumonia, and diarrhea. <laughs> so it's always so important that we address this failure past transfer, which is not hard to address. In this fold, you place an IV catheter and you give the baby some synthetic plasma that has this in it. <laughs> Put the baby on broad spectrum antibiotics because he's been picking up bugs for the last six hours. Put him on broad spectrum antibiotics and they do they do they do real well. They, they do real well. Now we've got a complicating factor here in that we've got a baby that's got neurologic disease and we can only hope that this neurologic disease is the result of head trauma. Something happened, mama accidentally stepped on him, loving on him too hard, and we've got a little head trauma, we've got a little brain swelling, and we're listening to the leg and we can't stand and we fall over. I say we can only hope that because that's treatable. If we have a developmental neurologic disease, that's not going away. You know, right. and he don't he don't get to hang out in a in a hospital bed and get physical therapy for the next year and learn how to walk and be a foal. That doesn't work that way. He's got to stand and nurse on his own. So so what does that leave us leave us with? What do we do? We got two. We got three options. Okay. Option one. Number one, best case scenario if baby must live at all cost. Baby goes to the neonatal care unit at Auburn University Large Animal Clinic. They have 24 hour staffing. Somebody lives with this foal at great expense. Okay, there's no upper limit at great expense. All right, um, you know, you, you can spend anywhere from $3,000 to $30,000 trying to keep something like that alive. Okay, option number two, that's by far the best option. Option number two is here. And what do we do here? We be sure we, we maintain the baby's nutrition, keep the baby eating, put the baby on corticosteroids, address the, uh, the failure of passive transfer, and hope that we can reduce brain swelling over the next couple of days and get that baby to standing and walking and nursing. If it is trauma, these things are incredibly resilient. They will come back if it's trauma. This is the low end 
for a baby uh, with failure passive transfer, you can put about $2,000 in those, which is option number three, which is a distant third option. <coughs> Y'all provide the nursing care. Mm -hmm. so, so in that deal, you know, you get out, you get out of here this morning, you know, for less than five hours. Less than five hundred dollars on that deal. It's about as cheap as you can come out of it. The thing to know about these is that they are metabolic nightmares. They're like little human babies. They are metabolic nightmares. They're sugar. Is this right here? These guys have to nurse every hour. Well, their sugar does that, and they crash and burn. It's tough. It's tough feeding these things every hour. I like these options better. This is by far the best. By far the best option. And what we would end up doing in this baby would be placing an indwelling feeding tube so that the baby can be fed hourly via a, you know, a soft field tube. That's my stomach. So, only option is number three. Um, I'm just going to do my best. Let's do it. Boy, if this baby lives, we're going to bring y'all a Chick-fil-A lunch or something. <laughs> I like that. That's a common client. Is it? <laughs> it's like a gold commodity. Yeah, no joke. There ain't no chick for like this. We'll, we'll, we'll remember. All right, he got his decks, right? So she's really full. You can see, so I don't think he's gotten anything from her yet. Yep. And you kind of just squeeze it like this. And you always want to stand this way because if she's going to kick, she's going to kick this way. Okay. Tiny squeezes. Yep, just be really gentle. Because once you start milking her more, like more will come out. Yeah, buddy. They're preferred to something sleeping. Good boy, buddy. You're thirsty. Good oh, buddy. That's mama's one. He's really sucking on it. That's good. There's no personal space in veterinary medicine. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> There's <laughs> the six feet rule does not apply. No. And his tongue coming out like that is completely normal. Is it? It is. Okay, I'm worried. No, nope, that's normal. This is how they do it. Yeah. Can I just kind of support his chin a little bit? Yeah. I'm done. You're done? Are you done? Ooh. What are you doing? So, after, after you feed them, so you probably drank about half of that. Yeah. Um, so what I recommend is go to Tractor Supply. Making progress every minute. He's up, falls over really easily. I love seeing that. That's going in the right direction. He has had a rough start in the world already, and I think we have endured it with him. What's happened, Ruby? So he's taking 24-hour care right now because he could hurt himself. He's got a little neurological problem, and we believe it's because he hit his eye, and his eye is really swollen. That's putting pressure on his brain in some way. He probably... 100% did not receive any colostrum, which they need uh, for protection because of all the germs and all the bacteria around here that they need protection from. So uh, we've been milking him with his own mare's milk and she's producing a lot of milk. So she doesn't have any problems, but he is still getting used to standing, walking up to her, finding the nipples and latching on. So this is what we have been able to pull out of the mare. She's doing really well. Uh, she's been a great mother. She's very affectionate, very attentive. And she's letting us do anything and everything to her and her baby with no problems. Good job. So Ruby. basically he has some swelling on the brain, fluid on the brain, something to that nature, which is, he's probably got a terrible headache. His, eye, his uh, left eye barely opens. It's getting a little better though, but it's really swollen. It could have been stepped on he could have fallen out of the back of the mare and hit the ground there on his eye when he came out we weren't there we don't know but that is 
causing all of the other problems. And it's really good that he can't even stand because first he would just fall right over. All right. He's made a lot of progress. I mean, if you think of where he was going He may not from. be in the mood. <laughs> Here comes mom. Let's see if she can put him in the mood. That's what they do. I guess they bite their ears to say I love you. <laughs> so the vet said there's a cycle when you're taking care of them 24 hours like this. <clears throat> it's oh, just like a regular baby. Right Eat, play, sleep. Eat, play, sleep. So we've been showing him her nipples. He did latch on once. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Good boy. Get that nipple. There. Right there. Come on. There it is. There. Right there. There. Right there. To the right. Right there. Ouch. Oops. What happened to him? You kind of need him in the face. Yeah. You did it, buddy. When he starts <clears throat> dropping his head, usually. He means he's getting. We should be trying to do him the other side. So we lay him down at this point. Once he's tried, we don't want him to get too tired. And then he's been nursing on his side once he's laid down. And can you mind Annabelle? <clears throat> so if he still has the sucking one. We don't have much hope for him, but we're going to give it our best shot. Hey, Mama. Good picture of her pretty <laughs> She's just laying down with us. If her baby's laying down, she's going to lay down. We're all a little tired here. I did feel a gulp. Felt a gulp. Good. Maybe he's finally getting it. Mama's gonna take a nap. Look at her squirt, literally leaking Oh my milk. god, <laughs> that is something else. Aww. This has been a day of firsts. I have never seen that. <laughs> Annabelle. Never looks like anything. Ooh. So, we know it's not ideal to feed him laying down, but. but he, has, he doesn't have his, enough muscle to really stand up for a very long time. He might have special needs, but we still love him. He may Just be like a special that. needs horse, but we're gonna give him a shot. He's doing better. He really does. When he's when he starts to get tired like this, it's it's not he he's to needs to lay down. When the foal is up, which is very rare, he's getting better and better. Dad stands there and makes sure he doesn't fall over because he does these little epileptic seizure things. Anyhow, so he's the body man and he's in charge of exercise and therapy during playtime. Then Ruby over there in the cafeteria 
is head of cafeteria and food relations. She's the food and beverage coordinator. So when he... <laughs> Our objective is to get the baby, Fauci, over. Look at him, interested. That's his nickname. And the goal is to get him exercised. He's learning to stand right now and learning to sw swizzle his head without falling over. He's doing better and better. He really is. That's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, he's at least getting exercise just standing. Yes. He must have gotten Doing Definitely some <laughs> improvements, right? <laughs> He's showing improvements. Did he yes. learn to stand, learn to nurse, or just our job's feet? over? Even if he just learns to stand, he's standing longer every single he's time. So proud of him. We should time it. I mean, he... we should and make a log. You can use my phone. Where's your? Oh yeah, where's your... Your paper, baby. Paper bag. Paper bag. Poor thing. I know how it feels, like... Because I've had the flu, and my muscles are like this all the time. I'm like... And my muscles were just tense all the time and would, like, shake. And I know exactly how it feels. And I had terrible back relaxed. cramps That's whenever I got out of the shower. It's already been seven minutes, by the way. Because we can film it every oh, that's time. A good point. <laughs> every time. 7.30. Like, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. 33, 34, 35. If it's just a kick in the head and he's going to be fine after a terrible concussion, I'm going to be so happy. Mm. But I'm not going to get my hopes up, let me tell you. He is far from out of the woods. He could get pneumonia. Anything. That's what they said today. Blood sugar has to be regulated. Because it goes like this. Yeah, so that 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 48, 49, 50. 50. No, I said 60. I am really surprised. This is really long. Amongst yourselves, remember 12 Ollie, minutes. Ollie's up. We can talk. Buddy, you're doing great. Your little head injury is getting better. So 14 minutes! 14 minutes! Oh my goodness, yeah! <gasps> yeah, he got his first steps! Baby's first He's learning step. to turn. Dad, you have to get next to him though. I'm comfortable. Remember, it's 14 minutes! Look at the prison. He keeps trying to poop. All the time. And and he's pooping like he is making a poop. <laughs> he's he's Ooh, he's peeing too. Yay pee! I like seeing that. Fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes. Doing? We're gonna let him not have the bottle. He's not suckling or anything, so he's looking for teeth. He is? Okay. Oh my gosh, look at his little personality. He yeah, came over there. Hard. Help him, Dad. <laughs> now don't let him lean on you. Well, I mean, be ready for him, but. Ruby. So He's filing back. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Uh, get him. I had it. He's really doing a lot better than he was earlier, y'all. I'm telling you. I know, but you've got to... He's doing so good. That core zone is working. Look at him. He even came over to the bottle. His eyes open a little more. His headache's going away. <laughs> Let's hope. Oh, my goodness. There it is, Latch. Second heart. 
he needs it. Oh. You can find this, you can find hers. There you go. Hold him, Dad. Dad, you have to be on the station. Just, just yeah. It's all good, we're, we are recovering. He's doing. Good. I know, but we're learning, aren't we? We are learning. Okay. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. Get your thing in there. There. <sighs> Definitely getting some milk because it's dripping all on my hand. <laughs> it gets so sticky. Oh, come on. Dad, can you feed him now? Okay, I'll do yeah. it. Time to nap. There we oh. go. Oh, let's nap. Let's what, nap, honey. Some... Just oh, no, Ruby. didn't mean to. I know. Think of these things. So when he dumps his head, he's falling asleep and wanting to fall asleep, right? So you are such a good milk person that I'm naming you Team Captain Spotter again. Ooh. <laughs> I'm the spotter. Oh yeah, that's right. You are this guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Okay, can you move? Mama's milk. <laughs> what do you think about all this? It's been very stressful, but rewarding and wonderful and full of prayer. I've been praying for this little baby. All of us, I think, have. So the highest he has stood up for is 22 seconds, or 22 minutes. minutes. It's remarkable progress. He has seriously gone from being an invalid to not being able to stand like most of the day to being able to stand for short periods of time, taking naps. Now he is walking around and like hanging out with his mother and learning his boundaries inside of this little pen. And he's doing so well. It's just amazing. Beyond believe but it's really exploded in the last two hours like we really, really exploded we can't say enough about the vet people. it must be the fact that we are shoving milk down his throat <laughs> <laughs> like as much as possible because we want him to eat and we're giving him his own mother's milk which is really awesome she has been the best mare to let us just milk her and she stands there and basically falls asleep and you just like squeeze the milk out. I really think so much of this is a steroid because as long as he had swelling on his brain, he was going to be neurological. Mm -hmm. So he's actually, look at this guy. Can you believe he's coming with, like walking? An hour ago, he couldn't keep his head up. The power of milk. <laughs> power of antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, yeah. everything. And colostrum. They pumped a hose yeah, a full of hole. colostrum into yeah. his uh, nose. But he's ready to start trying to latch on. His neck is getting stronger and stronger. Like, yeah, I'm so give impressed. Give him a couple of hours. He's doing exponentially better per hour he than is. he has been all night. He is. Ruby does not look how good Annabelle is. She goes right up. But he already fell into the water bowl over <laughs> here and like uh, righted himself and didn't you know freak out. But explain like 
three hours ago when Ruby went to bed, like he was falling, literally tumbling. When Ruby went to bed, he was not. We were we were clapping because he stood for like 15 minutes. That was like right before she went to bed, and that was a big deal. Right. He would flail back. And I mean, like, he's standing for hours at this point, and it's just been a few hours ago Ruby went to bed. So I know we sound crazy, but this is such the, a special the improvement thing. in a short period of time. We thought he was is dead. Crazy. We thought he was done for. This foal was. It was just a in a pile for many thing. hours today, here. Fred Levin and Philip Morris drove by <laughs> at the worst time and had to have thought we were crazy and we're literally holding the foe upright as he's seizing and yeah. collapsing and it was not pretty I, I thought for most of the day that he was not going to make it and now I really believe that he might have a big chance if he doesn't get any infection wow <laughs> we've got to What's get that, Ruby <laughs> I think Ruby will appreciate it. Hey, Bubba. Ooh. Ooh, he's running. Did you know you can run? Watch her. doing great. She's making so much milk. She's literally leaking down her leg. Well, look who made it through the night. Of course made it better than I did. Hey, <laughs> Mama. Hey, So you gonna give him his inflammation shot? Yep. Yeah. doing so much better than we could have expected. Uh, we were really, really uncertain about his health. health yesterday and whether he was gonna be viable. And um, he's taken a couple shots, antibiotics. He just gave him um, a shot this morning. Which is his last one. So that, that's gonna help with the swelling of his eye, which was, um, you know, causing some neurological issues which we're not having anymore. So now he's just gaining his strength and learning uh, how to walk. He started walking last night about nine o'clock and standing up, walking around. Each time he would walk and stand a little longer and then he ended up, you know, standing through the night. And I slept out here for maybe an hour, I don't know, on this massage table. Ruby and I went. Just keep my eye on everybody and um, everything went well. So I have a friend coming over today, Renee, who's gonna relieve us and she has some experience with raising foals. So she's gonna be here to take over and hopefully get this baby to latch on to mama because the goal here is to go directly to the source. That's our objective instead of today. Milking and bottle feeding. Because we've been <laughs> bottle feeding him every about 45 minutes, just a little at a time. Oh. Matter of fact, he just had his bottle. And he's zonked out. 
My back is sore from hauling him. He's about 84, he was 84 pounds yesterday. And we had him in the back of the pickup truck. We had the mare in the horse trailer and we were struggling to keep him on his feet. So we are exhausted, uh, literally baby's first steps, you know. If this continues, he'll be running around and just growing like a weed in no time. So thanks for all your prayers. I was certainly saying a few. I did not, I did not want to miss out on this beautiful foal surviving and growing up with us after everything we've been through. <laughs> he is zonked out. He, I mean, he slept for like 45 minutes or an hour laying down, and he really came back like bouncy, strong. That's when he started standing up. Yeah. So we're trying, we, I just gave him a bottle <coughs> and tried to put him down for a nap. Oh my gosh, our reliever is here. <laughs> I have not, y'all are the first human contact for weeks. I'm so glad you're here. I he love really it. With his mama yet. Can I tell you what? He's bonded with y'all. He has. I spent my whole issue. life with towels, but I've only done one horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to fall in love. He's not quite right still, but he's getting stronger and stronger. He's trying to figure we got it out. It. Oh, wait, no, you know what it. I think it is? I think it may be his, de his perception, his visual. He's getting frustrated. <laughs> it's all that neck muscles that he's learning to use, stabilize it. Come on, buddy. What you got, Miss Renee? She put a little dab on there. Oh, you see, this one wants Mama it. Wants it. Mama's it. like, I like syrup. <laughs> no, that's good stuff. You see them licking? Put some on her teeth. That's a good latch. Listen to him sucking. He's getting it he through there. Hungry. He is. Hopefully he'll take that bottle before he falls asleep, but he has a tendency to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. So happy. Together, away from human interaction for just a minute. See what happens. Well, that's good. He needs to move his legs. And he will follow her and exercise some. Without us being around, maybe. He will. Look at him running. I just feel like they really need this right now. They need good. the time. Do you see him kind of stuff with her running? Look at her being, lady. waiting for him. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if this... They needed that. They this, this time yesterday, Todd, can you imagine him doing this in the field? I had visions. I was trying to visualize him. Look at him with his little trot. Look at him. <laughs> that is awesome. Trust me. This is great. This is really good. So Todd's friend, Jessica Mullins, a veterinary assistant at Northwest Florida Animal Clinic, is stopping by to just check in on the foal. Hi, Cupis. So, um... That's the one thing he's having trouble with is the balance. So he's only, he hasn't even been, you know, standing upright or walking for... And Lee didn't even want to keep him? <clears throat> he's not usually this out of it. Is it because we laid him down? It's because we let him have a big day. He needed to get out and stretch because he was so wobbly. Get his legs up and over and walking today. He walked the whole pasture.
what happens is when they're in utero, they pretty much have these hormones that keep them sleepy, if you will. Because we don't want a baby galloping in the uterus. Sure, yeah. As they come through that birth canal and that pressure is put on their body, mm. it actually starts turning off these little hormones. So then when they come out, they're awake, they're ready to go. Mm. Well, if those hormones don't get turned off, they're very sleepy and just not, they don't really do like we want. And then we literally just do this pressure 20 minutes later and they usually pop up and are like, oh, they, they have this like bright look on their face. Right. And so I mean, I said, it doesn't hurt to try. You know, I don't know if, He's gonna benefit from it because I said how it's been kind of back and forth, but it doesn't hurt. Full squeeze. And then like I said, if we if that doesn't work, then we'll go ahead and get a catheter in, get some fluids going, probably do some more steroids. Um and kind of treat conservative, you know. Take our signs and symptoms. Just take one step at a time, see what's working from there. goes to lay down, we just let him lay down. That's not his side. Okay. They're finding it was more from this lack of squeeze, therefore those little sleep hormones, if you will, didn't get turned off. I'm gonna get stuff together for a catheter. Okay. Um watch out. stuff, clippers and everything. Oh, one that I can stick a needle through. And I need a liter of LRS, please. It's more tired than normal. Like, it's kind of pathetic. But yeah, I mean, I usually say, I mean, you know, 72 hours, really critical. Mm -hmm. The first three days or so. But I mean, we're looking a good week until we're like, okay. Save 
this baby. Sorry, James. No, you're okay. I did this on the side. Watch out for that stuff. Oh, good. Okay. Let him sit up. He's like, no. Come on, sir. You stand. If you want to go stand. Now let's help him off the mat. Then go ahead and get those the decks. Artery thing or whatever. Into his bloodstream. Yeah, so the way he's acting, I mean, makes me think we do maybe have more, like, kind of the brain smelling thing. But let's, let's see. Let's give him a few more minutes just to kind of, because we don't push them even with the dummy holes. We don't push them. We let them. Yeah. So come we to. just wake up, figure it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, big yawn. Do you like your nap? Have you ever seen him yawn before? I think I've seen him yawn. I like the licking lips. That's usually a good release. Well, your eyes look a little brighter than they did when you got yeah, here, but I don't know if that should be messing with you, making you kind of. Can I talk to him, Mom? Yeah. Yep. Beauty? Mom, why don't you talk to him? Why don't you talk to him? She's <laughs> And he starts to move, she will. Away from me? Not towards me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's reaching around. Okay, you're looking at me, but you don't need to. So, was it the left eye that was swollen? Yeah. Yes. Because it's still a little swollen. Yeah. It's not opening at all. It's the way. So much better than it was. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right. Well, and he'll follow the milk. If it's squirt now, he literally, once he finds it, he will follow the milk. And like I said, if he doesn't nurse too much, we get just a little bit in the mouth, we'll give him the fluids. Get he's at least, oh, 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 he's so close. He's, he's, he's close. Yeah, he's, he's so much closer than he was ever before. Come on, Bob. These are tough nipples. These are not easy yeah, nipples. Yeah, well, so she's so full. She's, she's so full. I mean, he is, he's close. I mean, he is. It's nipple. He, he so feels nice. the milk. He tastes the milk. He knows where to go. Yeah. He's just having a hard time, actually. And, and what, you think and the nipples are small? I, they're a lot smaller than mom ears. And then yeah. with her being as engorged, and she's, she makes everything really tall. Everything up here is oh, so it's hard to get so, down. Oh yeah, yeah. Are you sitting on me? <laughs> he gets lazy. <laughs> Woo! Mom's like, mom's like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she good? She is a really good mare. That's a great mare. My mare would have like hit me on the butt. <laughs> and I mean, is is. Eager as he is up underneath here, and he's getting so close, I think it's just going to be a matter of time. He's just got to once get latched on and figure out, oh, there it is, and figure out how to stay on it. If you're constantly getting under there with him and working on it, and he's showing, okay, because he knows where it is. I mean, he yeah. walked straight to mom and walked up underneath there. I mean, yeah. he knows where it is. Love the plan y'all got at home with the feeds. I know it's tough on you guys. It's rough. I've been there. Like I said, that dummy foal I had up here, I slept here for three days, and by Monday, that was like a Friday through Monday, by Monday, I'm like a zombie <sighs> here. I know it's tough. Um, but that whole plan I like, you know, the getting up, trying him on the tee. And I always try this before we do a ball. Yeah. You're right. Go here first. Right. Try that first. Oh, I'm so scared. I said, no, you're going to poop me again. You know it. Okay, now. Okay. So what is in this bag? So, Lactator ringer solution. So, um. We've been trying to feed him like every hour, as that's what Dr. Lee said. And is it better to do every two hours? I mean, slowly we'll start to spray some out. Results? The first few days I usually try to do about every hour to two hours. Now, I'm not, I won't wake him up to eat. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if he's sleeping, let him sleep. Never sleep, wake up, sleep well. Right. I mean, <laughs> when I when I do have the ones here that I stay up here all weekend with, if they're sleeping, let them sleep. And over time now, if we decide we're just going to bottle feed, then eventually we're going to be pretty aggressive at getting him like <laughs> three times a day, four times a day, and three times a day, and twice a day. And they're made to literally eat, sleep, and then get up to play a little bit, and they're gonna eat, sleep, and play. I mean, that's, that is their life. It's not a bad life. I mean, he's so night and day from the way he was when we came in. I mean, I think he's gonna figure it out. I mean, I feel, and y'all are the type that, I mean, y'all are very vigilant. Yeah. I mean, we've got some people that literally just don't even feel and say, well, if it works out, it works out. You know, I'm like super, I'm very superstitious. So if I were y'all, I like wouldn't name him. Where's mama going? Where is she going? Stretch. He's like on stilts. Did you see his stretch? Stretch. So when he starts licking his lips is when it's feeding time. But until then, it's playtime. Should we put you toward mommy's yeah, udders? <clears throat> well, there's a try. There you go, I didn't help him. There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Yes, come on, buddy. That was it. Yes. Here you go, bud. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, he's he's so close. There it is, buddy. Oh. Yeah, come on. Oh, he's he's there. He is there. He's just learning how to. That was so good. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my gosh. He's gonna get this tonight, man. Oh, oh, yes. He's getting his head tilted right. He's learning. Oh, he's clamping down. He did it. 
He's doing it, Dad. He's doing it. He is doing it. Get Ruby. Oh, buddy, you are so happy. Those fluids and colostrum was the right thing to do, babe. It, ga it gave him the strength to sleep and the energy to do all this. Oh, he is on it. Oh, good job, Annabelle. Yes, that baby is not going back to the bottle anymore. Oh no way, baby! <laughs> Hear that guzzling? <laughs> that is the sound of my happiness. Ah, I've been waiting for this. You guys, I love that we did it. It was not without great expense and personal effort. And learning. And learning <laughs> and teamwork and teamwork. We persevered. Would you have ever thought he was gonna latch tonight? Oh no. At I the vet. At best maybe tomorrow. Like after a night of rest and recuperation. He's been doing this. He's been making like these huge leaps and bounds, like monumentally out of nowhere <clears throat> like unexpectedly and then check that that task is completed and then we move on to the next one we're trying to get to the basics here he's such a good energy and he works really hard it's been icu and we had he crashed this afternoon mm -hmm. scared us for the second time uh, it's almost like he um just gave up yeah, it was like going downhill, you know, and the girl's like, oh, when they go downhill, they go downhill fast, you know? So I was like, well, dang, man, he's taking a turn. So. We took him to the vet. Took him to the vet for the second time, back of the truck. They did a great job. They yeah, really I educated us. like their personal us. care. I mean, they had us as their only customer after hours. But the fact that he's nursing so quickly after being so bad is just a miracle. And they also validated to me that he needs to lay down as much as possible. So Todd's got a new trick to make him lay down. Maybe he'll do that. Maybe I'll show you. Todd. He's supposed to bend his knee. Bend your knee. Oh, so graceful. <laughs> what the heck? But he does. I've done that a few times. Nice, how you doing? <laughs> 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 Sorry, bud. What are you playing? Woo! My goodness. <laughs> These little spasms of fun. <laughs> <laughs>